Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a really quick tutorial on a Halloween nail because the leaves are changing, my friend. So we're starting out with a really muddy marble with acrylic. You can also do this with gel polish. I wanted to show it with the acrylic, but honestly, it's really super easy to do with gel polish as well because you're not trying to make it perfect. You are trying to make it muddy. So I am using just a plain red, orange, yellow, black, and clear to make my muddy marble with. And you could use any of these colors. You could also do purples and blues and hues like that. I am going to pop up on the screen where I got the inspo for this because it was inspired by an Instagram post that I seen. So I do wanna make sure that she gets credit for it because they're beautiful. So I'm kind of bringing in my black more so on the upper and the lower. I'm kind of building it somewhat similar to if you were doing like the pink quartz. Um, I'm putting my clear in a little bit like right here with the yellow because I do want to be able to see in behind it. I do want that dark of the black to show through, but I also don't want it to be a really prominent black. So it's a lot of really wet product and also a lot of pulling and patting, which are the things that we tend not to do when you're doing a marble uh, because you don't want that muddiness, but that is what we're looking for. Again, if you were doing it with gel polish, let me know down below if you want to see a muddy marble like this with gel polish. I can certainly do that. I can even do it up on my Instagram stories so that it can be seen there, but just let me know. I wanted to do this this way because that way I was kind of using both mediums. I do have the tip pulled ahead just a little bit because I find when there's not like a definitive cuticle as if there would be on a, on a human, um, I, I get product pushed up in there a little bit further than I should. So I just pulled that tip out just a little bit. So I'm coming to an end sort of, of making sure this is okay. I did take quite a long time to do this. You wouldn't have to. I was just kind of moseying along with the nail art this morning, but I really love how it turned out. I come in, I do a little bit of clear. I don't show you my entire clear capping or filing simply because that's just something that I didn't think we needed. I then used a matte top coat from Beamy Beauty. I wiped it with acetone to make sure it was nice and dry. And then I'm coming in with my Get Buffed Nail Art Brush. Seriously, if you guys are into nail art, you need the Get Buffed brushes. They're worth every penny. Like they're not super expensive, but they're worth every penny for sure. I'm using the Lacket Black from En Vogue and I'm just kind of drawing myself a little headstone here. I am flash curing whenever I feel the need to, although I have taken that out of the footage. So as you can see, aside from curing and reaching like long reaches for paint, this design has taken me approximately seven minutes which is kind of cool because once you get something like this down pat, you can really hammer it out pretty quickly. So if somebody wanted to do, you know, eight black nails as I have on the other nails here on my red iguana hand, then it might be a little easier for you to be able to bring out something like this, change up your backgrounds, maybe practice a couple of backgrounds with your um, purples and blues and then maybe your greens and yellows as well as the orange kind of red that we have here. And that's something that you can offer and you can do it multiple times and it never looks the same. So I'm kind of drawing my tree. I'm not really being terribly specific. When I do want the tree branch to be a little bit crooked, I'm spinning my brush, which is kind of hard to see, but I'm giving it a little bit of a spin and it gives me kind of that tree branch look. I really love kind of a shadow picture like this. I was really drawn to this when I seen it, which is pretty common for me. I know I'm always drawn to these kind of shadow creations. I find it so much quicker to be able to do a background and then do your design. So once I'm done with this, I am going to matte top coat it again 
And then we are going to come in with another layer. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this. Please comment down below if you are excited for the Halloween season or the fall season. So using my Beanie Beauty uh, matte top coat again. The next step I'm coming in with is going to be base coat. You could use top coat as well mixed with my black and I'm using it as a shade. You don't need to shade this, obviously it's super cute on its own, but I've come in and I'm doing just kind of a thick, throw it on there, wherever it goes, it goes. You can see I'm kind of going out of the lines, but it's making a really great shade here and I just love the way it looks after it is matte top coated again. So let me know if there's any other designs you'd like to see me do. I would like to start doing quite a few more as the holidays approach with these shorter, smaller tutorial videos. Have a great day.